It's definitely a ventricular defect. Yes, well, let's see if we can get medical records of both of the parents. <laughs> I'm working on it. You can do that. Let me know when we can move forward. All right. Hey, was that about Edmund, the little boy who's having a hard time breathing and his mom's Marie? That's the one. This kid needs surgery, and his mother's procrastinating about allowing access to his father's medical records, not to mention getting a guy in here for blood work. I don't get it. The last time Edmund was admitted, his mom was freaking out, and I was the one to calm her down, and she shared with me that she's not sure her husband is Edmund's father. Oh. Yeah, so she was kind of hoping that her son would just get better before she had to blow everyone's world apart. Well, not to sound cold or anything, but the day of reckoning is upon her. Oh, I feel for her. I mean, not that I've been in that situation exactly, but I've come close enough. Hi. Oh, hi. Have you spoken to Dr. Jackson in the past 15 minutes? I haven't. I've been in conference, and I just got around to getting my messages. Well, let me update you. Edmund's father finally came in to give blood to be tested, and the lab is putting a rush on it. Oh, that's good news. And look at you. You're getting so big. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I guess Laura did pass on some heavy-duty DNA through Nicholas. Why do you say that? Well, I've seen pictures, and he looks just like Lucky at this age. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. 